Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So we're talking about this thing again, the Jumper T Pro. Uh, getting a lot of questions about how hot does the internal module get because this thing does do, or it's claimed to do, one watt and it does not have a fan in it. So today we're gonna take some thermal measurements and uh, some power output measurements. This is all kind of rough science. I wouldn't really consider this as like gospel, but it might be fun to see what we got going on here. All right, so took the radio apart, pulled the ELRS module out of it. I could not disbond the transmitter from the heat sink. They've got it glued on with something super strong. I don't know what it is. I don't want to break the module. So I just kind of picked a random spot kind of in the middle of the back of the heat sink, put my thermocouple probe on there, cover it with some aluminum tape, some capped on tape so we don't have any, uh, any sparkles uh, interacting between the two pieces. And we ran a thermocouple out of the back of the radio along with a UFL to SMA so I can hook up my immersion RC power meter. Yes, it's just the immersion RC power meter. It's nothing crazy accurate, but um, we can definitely see the trend of how the power ramps down as the module heats up. All right, so let's head over the bench and let's see what we got. All right, so here's the radio. We've got the thermal couple harness coming out by the battery bay and we've got our, uh, our UFL coming out for the IRC power meter. This uh, power meter says it'll handle one watt without an attenuator, so we're going to certainly put that to the test. Hoping to get all of this in shot here. All right, let's fire up. So ambient temperature in my room here is about 66-ish degrees Fahrenheit. Um, what's that in science? So about 19 degrees science. But we're going to stay with Fs. All right, so we should be on, shut up radio. We should be on 25 milliwatts. All right, so we're at 25 milliwatts. It's kind of stabilized about 75 degrees. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's crank this sucker to 11 and just see what we get. I'm gonna run a timer and three, two, one. Here we go, hope it don't fry. All right, already we see we jump up to about uh, 600 milliwatts, 614, 615, somewhere around there. Uh, that's about as good as it ever does. So let's just let this sucker burn and I'll come back in a little bit. All right, well, I think that's enough. We're gonna stop it there. Uh, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. My IRC power meter isn't happy with doing any of this. I think it's, it's getting a little warm. Um, so, you know, get out of that what you will. All right, folks, so there we saw the power output versus the temperature of the internal module. I don't think it's a safety risk because like you really can't get to any of the module, you know, like there's that little bit of grill right there, but that's about it. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Do you think this is uh, acceptable or do you think that this is just bad design? Um, as we saw the at one watt, it put out like 500 milliwatts at best. So I think the one watt claim might be just a bunch of marketing hype. Uh, without adequate cooling, this thing's never going to get there. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, well, click the, the links and all that happy stuff to help out the channel and all that. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. And as always, stay positive and cool if you can. All right. See you next time.